this morning. How about taking him to the Sea Life Aquarium? They can meet the stars of one of their favorite shows and a rare chance to feed some of the animals. Matt Stewart has more of what you can do. Well, if you have a preschooler and you watch Disney Junior, you no doubt know who the Octonauts are. And they're actually here at the Sea Life Aquarium today. Uh, they're down below in that tunnel. You can see we're, we're kind of keeping them away from the kids. They're going to meet the kids here in just a few minutes. We've brought in a group of preschoolers between the ages of three and five to meet them. But before they do that, we thought it would be a great opportunity to let them come up top the tank here at Sea Life Aquarium and maybe watch them feed the sharks. I have Scott Hanna, the lead educator here at Sea Life, and tell us a little bit about these tiger sharks, Scott. Well, these are actually zebra sharks. It's a little bit different. The, they have spots all over their body. When they start out, they are actually striped, and as they get older, those stripes actually split off into the little spots they have on them right now. They have very long tails, and it helps propel them through the water. They're very gentle sharks as well, so they're not the dangerous ones people always associate with, like, sharks. Uh, what are these sharks eating right now? Right now we're feeding them a variety of different kinds of fish. Looks like we're feeding them some capelin. It's a little, it's very small fish that these guys just kind of suck right down. So how long do these sharks live? Well, these sharks can usually, most species of sharks can usually go around 20 years. Most of so some of them can get pretty old for a very large fish. So they can live a long time. Where do you find zebra sharks in the wild? Zebra sharks are actually found right off the coast of Australia in most cases. Sometimes making it up into like the, uh, the Philippines and areas like that, but mainly they stay around that Australian coastline. Interesting. And how many zebra sharks does Sea Life Aquarium have? We actually have two of them. We have two. We have Link and Zelda. And Link and Zelda are two beautiful zebra sharks that we're hoping to be able to breed as they get older. I always find it fascinating that whenever you're looking at a huge tank like this, you see these sharks swimming around with all these other fish, and you never see them eat any of the other fish. They seem to get along well together. Mm -hmm. They do get along, and part of it is what, um, what Aaron is doing right now. He's actually feeding the animals, and we feed the animals a couple times a week. We don't actually feed them every day. Uh, sharks, especially, can go about two weeks without a meal. Wow. Yes, yeah, so they can go a very long time, and by feeding them little tiny meals, it's like giving us like 12 small meals a day. It splits it up throughout their week, and they don't really get hungry enough to eat their co-fish. Interesting. So by feeding the sharks, they're so full, they have no interest in eating any of the other fish inside the tank. That's correct. <laughs> very fascinating. By the way, how many species of sharks do you have here? We have around s seven species of shark. Seven species of seven sharks. Species of shark and a number of relatives, too. Well, what a treat for these kids today to be able to come up here and see what the top of Sea Life Aquarium looks like as we feed the zebra sharks. Sorry, I said tiger sharks. You think stripes, you think tiger, but you're right, the zebra sharks. And by the way, these kids, so excited to see the octonauts. We're going to head downstairs, and in our next hour, we will meet the octonauts and talk more about the Sea Life Aquarium and more about the educational reason that they are here. They're going to be here for the next two weeks, so bring your preschooler out here, learn more about these fish, more about these sharks, and we'll talk more in our next hour. Matt Stewart, Fox for news. Working for you atop the tank here at Sea Life Aquarium at Crown Center. All right. Thanks, Matt. And the Octonauts will be at the aquarium until June 8th. Well, there's a new inspection.